Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka International Nail Artist and Educator here and today we are going to do an absolutely amazing and beautiful design with the transfer foil, have a wee preview of it in here. It looks absolutely fantastic and I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial, let's start! So I just zoom it in again for you so you can see it what we are going to create today. And it's a slightly different colors because uh, you guys uh, usually seen me doing pinks and nudes so I thought like I will show you black, blue and green. Uh, slightly mm, different um, colors. I have prepped the tips so they are just bathed and I'm going to clean them and then we can start doing those design. So on the pinky we will go pretty simple just some gems and a chrome. And I'm going to use the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel to apply the chrome. I will also give you the links in the description of the video to the products I have used as well. So we are going to cover the entire tip with the chrome. And when I'm applying the top coat for a chrome, I always check it like to make sure it's a pretty good application. You don't want any bits and pieces in there because uh, if there is any dust particles, uh, they are going to really show in a chrome. And then give it a cure. Uh, I cure 60 seconds for a chrome application. Then on those two nails, we are going to do some transfer foil design uh, uh, with the flowers. So I'm just going to use the transfer gel then give it a cure and then the same on this one give it a cure and then on this one we are going to do the design but we'll do it just uh, opposite way uh, so here we've got the transfer foil so now i'm going to apply the transfer foil on the bottom part of the design and then the top part is going to be chromey so I'm applying just a kind of v-shape but i'm not bothered too much uh, if i will get um, uneven uh, because we are going to use some black to outline it as well so just kind of indicate this shape and then give it a cure so the first one is ready and that is the pinky i'm going to use the cushion uh, chrome in the color b852 and just apply it through the entire nail We'll of course do some design on top of it as well. Now let's go to the transfer foil one. So the transfer foil, it comes in a box like and there is lots of different ones and I'm going to use the green and blue flowers. There is a few tutorials on the other flowers as well uh, which are absolutely awesome. So I'm just cutting a small particle of the foil and we are going to use this middle part because I really like it but maybe going like this so it will be more into the side of the needle and just rub it properly in So once you start feeling the foil start coming off, you can peel it. 
and you can see it how nice coverage we've got. I quite like to lift a little bit of the foil uh, so it doesn't bend because uh, when we're doing a full coverage uh, the hardest part is to get it at nice and even um, and when they are bending like it's more difficult so you have to lift it up and then press it again okay that's the easiest way for me to apply it for a full coverage So I've got those beautiful flowers on this nail and then this one was a half coverage so I'm going to use uh, this part so actually with the one part of the foiling I can get quite a lot of quite a lot of coverage now maybe go for this one here just to make sure I've got enough okay one side press it nice. You can also use the silicone tools uh, they are quite helpful when we are applying the transfer foil. And then once you're happy you can start pulling it. Okay, so we've got the V-shape. I'm not bothered how it looks in the middle because we are going to cover it with the black outline. I'm just cleaning after the chrome. And the next new. I'm actually going to use this foil as well. So I'm glad because we have used one piece of the foil for all three design, which is awesome. I'm going to do the bottom part first because uh, there is not a lot of the flowers in there. Peel it. And then when the foil is loose, it's easier to apply it on the other parts. On the real human is much easier because you can kind of press it um, more decent I would say uh, than you can do it on the holder and then we've got another nail. Now we have to decorate them so this is our background and we need to decorate them and um, connect everything together. So on this one I'm going to use some uh, crystals, clean it and scratch it. When I'm working with the chrome I like to give it a scratches on the sides uh, just to make sure like uh, the chrome is going to, to last everywhere. And then apply the base gel for the crystals application. So we will use the combination of the silvers and some crystals. I really like the silver, it looks nice with the green. So the crystals stuck with the base gel last really ages. OK, 
Okay, the first of them are in and I'm going to give it a flash cure. Then the middle new, we are going to paint some black. So I'm going to use the foil design gel and the D-liner brush for some painting. I am actually got like a really end of it, <laughs> like really end of it. Because we will also put some uh, green chrome here as well. So I'm painting those black line. And that's why I wasn't bothered too much about those, um, those middle plays. I've got the eyelash wand uh, to clean it. Yeah, it was just a piece of the foil. And then I check what kind of thickness I want. So say about there. Got so little of the gel. But actually, you could maybe go back probably maybe even a year. I have been using the same gel. Uh, so even if it's a, such a small pot, uh, it's last for ages. I really don't want to rush it, this design. Like, I want to make sure it's nice and even. Okay, so the first line is ready. Now I can paint another line. So I'm just going to leave a wee gap. And I suggest you make a, a bigger gap uh, in case if you do maybe some mistake or something, you can always uh, add it more uh, product without of affecting the thickness you need it. So this is a kind of uh, very similar stuff which we have created on the thumbnail. Just an opposite combination. The reason why I'm using the mixing palette is like picking up the gel from the pot might actually bend your brush a little bit. So this is so I can roll the brush uh, and kind of drag it so it paints nice and straight lines. Okay, and now I can give it a cure. Then the full coverage nails, I'm just going to take some black, like all which I have. I really need to get a new one. There's no more designs I can get out of it. <laughs> Shape my brush now. And we are going to do the outline. Um, I think like it will really um, suit this design. Not too thin, just because the other lines aren't too thin either. 
uh, so we don't want to go to fun. I really like those old line designs, um, especially for the flowery parts. You can also let me know guys down in the comments below what else you would like to see or what color combinations you want to see it as well. I can produce it. Uh, I might not wear it on my nails, like, but I, I still think they are really pretty uh, designs, even if they are different colors. Uh, and I think like any kind of design, like it could be done also in yellows and, and pinks and purples and whatever. Um, color you like. It's just an idea of the design. I love it with the black outline. So simple but so beautiful. And sometimes less is more, <laughs> definitely. Uh, so just exactly the same on this one. We could even paint it more at the free edge of the black, like almost like a wee, um, wee line up to here. That will look still really beautiful too, or even just like a line. I might actually see it and check the other, how the, pat how the flower pattern is going in the side if I want to add more black into it. Just so this design is not as cute. Okay, I have... Move my hand too strong. So just clean it. Gosh, I have used this gel right down to the bottom. <laughs> but you can also see it like how much easier it is to paint with the D-liner brush and those kind of old lines because it's a Pretty long brush, it takes quicker time. Okay, cook it. Okay, so we've got those pinky. Let's go back to the pinky. I'm going to rub it in a tiny bit of the chrome because uh, I don't like how the end looks. There is also some particles of the dust because I was embarrassing to take my time with the top coat and I knew it will happen. So just rub this in and you can guys see it like this needle have been double cured and the chrome still wraps in there so um, that's absolutely no issue with that. Clean it and do the crystal combinations. I'm going to use the old brush and some wipe. Just so I can apply more crystals. So just the tiny, tiny ones. And the last one. OK, 
Okay, and now I know that uh, I have used the larger crystal on the top and I'm going to swap it so I can have them right down to the end. Otherwise I wouldn't be able to squeeze as many as I need. Get them into a nice line. And give it a cure. Okay, on this one we are going to apply some crystals as well. And after this part, give it a flash cure. Okay, because I've got some flowers in here, the only option where I could place the black line is just above and here. So that's what I'm going to do it. So it's kind of separates the more flowers from less flowers. Now caviar beads. So when, we, when you're working with the caviar beads, don't do it too much. Uh, I'm just going to do it a little bit. And then the caviar beads. And I love them because we can create a really beautiful chain. So I'm cleaning my brush so there is not too much base on it. Otherwise it will be more difficult to apply them. And now just paint them beautiful chain. Ideally, I suggest you do like a couple and then flash cure it. Uh, so when you will be working on the clients, you will be constantly sw swapping the hands. Because then you are not risking uh, of them to move. It is time consuming and, uh, and you should really charge for it, uh, but I love it, the look of those tiny, tiny caviar beads. Okay, so we've got one side done. I can top coat this design. So a decent amount of the top coat, cap the free edge. Caviar beads are flash cured, so the next side, a drop of the base gel. Paint those line clean. 
because if you've got too much it will be difficult to get rid of those caviar beads. And I'm trying to kind of almost paint with it. Uh, so this one went actually really quick. Um, and I think once you get hang of it, it becomes quicker. And sometimes we are lucky and we can make a pretty decent chain pretty quick. And then once I'm happy, flash cure it. Time for top coat on the other nail. I actually love those ones. We could do the chrome on the bottom as well uh, of it. Okay, base gel again. a bit too much. Clean the brush, pick up the caviar beads and try to drag them so oh, so it's quicker. So it didn't work this time. I'm using more of the side of the brush to get them in place. Then if you've got some missing places, I like to put a couple on the wipe because it's easier to pick up a single one. Okay, and then once I'm happy, flash cure. And then top coat on this one. I could maybe, no, maybe not top coat. Add those caviar beads here as well. Just a couple. One, two, three, four. It looks like almost they are invisible, but uh, they do really look, uh, change the look of the design. Gosh, it's so tempting. Let me grab the base on the palette ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not going to take as long time, but I think it will just make it so pretty. I actually wonder if the camera is catching them. They're so tiny. So much prettier. So the index finger is done. I'm just going to place it next to the thumb. New. So pretty. Middle one, caviar beads. So a base gel. Oh, and we still have to do this chrome. <laughs> I'm just laughing because uh, we was recording here and our dog was coming in and he was walking and walking and, get, and you could hear his puff like puffs and Niels uh, banging on the floor and <laughs> Patrick just uh, get him in upstairs to Olivia and he keeps walking like this by so loud. <laughs> she just let him stop. Oh gosh. I'm not sure um, 
was it actually is it I'm going to rewatch the video and check it if it if it was uh, uh, on the video as well like he's walking he can be so loud and imagine it like walking one side other side one side other side <laughs> Perfect, this caviar beats are done. I love this one. And quickly, this side of the caviar beats. I actually miss this uh, recording in the house. The studio is not ready, guys, yet. Like, we've got... it's the... You know, when you try to do something, like, you kind of thinking is going to take really quick, and uh, then it takes ages, and that's what uh, happened with the... The studio as well so on the 14th of june we've got some skirting boards coming in and uh, architraves i think that's how you pronounce it and we are going to put them in and then the next part will be just to save some pennies for the for the desk and that's a big struggle i don't know what kind of desk i want in there because uh, it has to be pretty but at the same time it has to be really fun functional uh, so i need to choose the desk i want as well and we need to choose the background because it will be also useful as a photography studio as well. So, uh, yeah, lots of work still to do in there. But all the flooring is done and I'm glad because we also replaced the floor and the downstairs as well after the flood. Now, let's do those quickly, those um, crummy parts. So the easiest, the easiest uh, way to do it would be to um, apply the top coat, buff it and then... Um, apply the chrome only on the places you want but I'm not going to do it uh, I will just apply the triangle here because that's where I want the green chrome and I will be just carefully doing it into the shape so give it a cure this one apply the top coat when I'm working with the metal bits, I usually put the top coat over them. And the reason for it is like when the clients are working with their hands and put them into different chemicals, sometimes those metal parts can change the color. And I really don't want that for my clients. So I find it when I'm putting the top coat, um, they tend to last uh, better when it comes to the colors. Flash cure it. Okay, so the chromy one is cooking. This one is ready as well. We're actually almost done with this set. So just a chrome application and then top coat on the one needle. I like it just like that even. Uh, the pinky could be also the same like a thumbnail as well. But I just wanted to show you something different, guys. Okay, so that's it ready for chrome. So let me close all the products. And there we are. Okay, so I have to be very careful how I'm going to apply this chrome. So what I'm doing is... I'm not going to go too close to the edges with this sponge. Then take my silicone tool And apply it with the silicone tool because I can be more precise in there. Yes, time consuming again, but I think it's worth it. We could also put the striping tar, uh, tape or a caviar beads in these places as well. And then we wouldn't have to be as precise with the chrome application. Here we almost done. And I think a couple gems on the top will be nice as well.
I think green and black look really, really nice together. Okay, so that's the chrome done. Quickly, gems. Not a lot, like we don't want to cover too much of the chromes. I'll put one gem here, one gem there. And the small one. Line it up, cook it. Pinky is ready. Top coat on this one. And I hope, guys, you have really enjoyed it. Let me clean this. So I'm not applying any uh, top coat over the crystals, but I do apply the top coat over the caviar beads, but then kind of remove the excess of it. I will show you guys. You can use the small brush to go around some places. I'm just wiggling about with the big one. <laughs> cup the, to really cup the free edge. If you've got heavy handed client, you could also apply the base gel over the transfer foil and then the top coat, there is no way it would come off then. Okay, so now I'm just wiping excess of the top coat which has accumulated to where the caviar bits are and then give it a cure and then I can show you the final look so I'm just going to quickly <laughs> clean this mess and show you the the final results I really like this set it's, it's completely completely different to what you normally see me doing like uh, the color wise so a couple seconds longer this one isn't fully cured, so I will just attach it very gently. But I don't want to keep you too long. Okay, so that's what we have created today. I'm sending you glittery hats and bye for now.